have arrived in Gori, made it to my hostel and didn't get lost. So today I'm gonna just, we're gonna go walk around. There's a Stalin museum here in a fort that I wanna go check out. So in case you don't know, Stalin is from Gori, Georgia. Maybe you knew, if not, now you do. So I kinda wanna go see what this little town has. So far, it is cute. And I mean, it kinda looks like a lot of other towns <laughs> in Georgia, not gonna lie. But we'll go exploring a little bit. also not in the city anymore so people are actually friendlier like yesterday a guy helped me find where I was going got helped me get in a taxi and just overall the vibe is much more welcoming but that is kind of I think anywhere you go that you're not in a major city I always feel like I don't know people are always nicer in these small little towns little communities Really common to have these like underground like stairs basically the stairs the underground stairs and then it leads to the tunnel and yeah and then you go under the main road because you don't have to worry about crossing the street so kind of nice it's like yeah crossing the street underground I cross this main road. so small I came yesterday on the train my last video and a guy who was on the train just asked asked me how to get somewhere I mean he's clearly he's from the US also but it's this town it's just like there's only so much to do here so he I mean it's probably going to the Stalin Museum the same way that I'm going so anyways randomness but I'm going to find some breakfast first oh my god it's so beautiful here Georgian towns are like nestled in the mountains like you can see it surrounded by mountains but here it's like super flat
at the Stalin Museum here in Gori and yeah, I'm gonna see what I see what it's like. I heard it's very pro. So let's see how pro it actually is. So far, I just got here. Let's see. in the museum but when you get here they have like a free they, like you pay 15 lari for the tour but then I joined like a free walking tour that was kind of talking about what happened basically this tells the life of Stalin and it shows you pictures so it wasn't like glorifying him nor was it it was just telling you facts basically facts. so yeah so basically it's just interesting to see I don't know, when you're here, if you come to Gori and you're in Georgia, why not, right? Now I need to like listen to the podcast to learn more because it's interesting to come. One of the things I like about traveling is coming. I don't retain information. I am really good when I go places and then remembering it, like seeing it and hearing it at the same time. Like, oh, I've been there, I visited, now I want to learn more. So that's how I learn. That's also why I write because it helps me learn more when I research. But anyways, yeah, so it's cool. This is the coolest part though, it's Stalin's house. So I don't know, I'm always like, like to see where people grew up. So for me, this is like, so cool to see like where I know he was born. I don't think it was this exact location. I'm assuming they moved it, but it's just cool to see. I don't know. I think it's fascinating, super interesting, probably. Because the other stuff you can learn, you can read online, but like to see like somewhere like this, way cooler. And yeah, the museum is beautiful on the outside. So it is like a, a sort of figure that at one point they looked up to obviously. But yeah, and then you realize that he became a dictator, mass murderer, and you're like, ah, not so good, right? Anyways, okay, we're gonna go to the fort now. Every country you go to, I swear, Jehovah's Witnesses pimping out their programs. They're looking for more members everywhere they're all over Colombia they're all over Georgia everywhere I swear okay let's find out where I'm going but this is so beautiful this park here oh it's worth it just to come see this park okay so one of the things that I've noticed about this town is there are like beauty shops everywhere like I swear I've not seen so many like beauty parlors <laughs> in a long time it's so crazy they're like everywhere I just past like three walking here anyways we're gonna go to the cathedral and the fortress I think I say this in every video something I love about here being in Georgia is they grow everything like there's grapes hanging, there's like plum trees, there's persimmon trees, everything they have, they need, they have. They're like sustainable, they don't need anything. Everything is here, they can, they have cows and chickens and then they can make so much stuff from that, from which they already have. They don't have to outsource, so I don't know. I just love it because I see all these trees, the fruits are falling and then that's exactly what they're selling in the market because everything is fresh everything is here it's what they do what they make what they earn I don't know it's, I think it's I think I talk about it so much because we need to get back to that way of living in the US
This is the Gori Fortress. Completely abandoned. Looks like they're fixing it up a little bit, doing some work on it, but you can have this beautiful view of Gori. You probably can't see, but straight across is another church. Georgia's full churches, in case you are wondering. All over. It was this, Georgia was the second country to adopt Christianity as a religion as a whole after Armenia. So that's why there's so many churches and monasteries. tour gory because I'm only here for a day I might I don't know if I'm gonna stay another night but there is a lot to do there's like a couple there's like three churches to visit there's the fort to visit and there's this cave one of the oldest caves in the world where people lived on the mountains I might go there I haven't decided yet it depends getting around in Georgia is a bit difficult if you you don't have a car you can take the local transportation, but it's always iffy when it's coming back. So, yeah, and plus I'm kind of, I'm a little travel burnout. 
a little, a little burnout, not gonna lie. So yeah, I've been kind of being a bit of a bum, travel bum lately. So yeah, anyways, I like Gory. I think if you come to Georgia, you should definitely